So we have a roller coaster racing down the ramp, and then it does the uh, loop. How tall must this thing be such that the roller coaster can do the loop successfully? Now the answer cannot be this because if the roller coaster starts from this height, then it's going to arrive at this point with zero velocity. And you know what happens if it arrives here at zero velocity? It's going to go qua 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 and boom straight down, huh? So how fast must the roller coaster be when it arrives at the top? So when the roller coaster is at the top. Um, both the gravitational pull and the normal contact force that the ram exerts on the roller coaster are downward in the centripetal direction. So we apply Newton's second law on the roller coaster. So the downward weight and the downward normal contact force provides the required centripetal force, which we write as mv square over r. So m is of course the mass of the roller coaster and big R is the radius of the circular motion, which is this length here. What this equation tells us is that if the roller coaster arrives at the top position at a very high speed, then the roller coaster and the ramp will be pressing into each other very hard, very strongly. The slower the speed at which the roller coaster arrives at the top, then the weaker the normal contact force. For the roller coaster to just make the loop successfully is when it arrives at the top with such a speed so slow that the normal contact force is zero. So we solve for normal contact force to be zero and we get the speed at the top to be square root of Rg. Applying the principle of conservation of energy, the Ke and Gp of the roller coaster at position A must be equal to the Ke and Gp of the roller coaster at position B. We assume that the roller coaster started from rest here, so the Ke is 0 at position B, and it arrives at position A with velocity of uh, Vt of course, so the Ke at position A is written as half m Vt squared. If we take the reference point for Gp to be 0 here, then the Gp at A will be mg2r, and the Gp at B will be mgh. We can get rid of all the m's, and we are going to replace uh, Vt with square root of Rg. So Vt square is Rg. So the minimum height turns out to be 2.5 times the radius of the circular motion. But if you go on a roller coaster ride and you see that the height doesn't look like it's 2.5 times the radius, don't panic. Usually it's because the ramp is not a circular one. It comes in a teardrop shape which allows you to do the loop with a lower speed at the top. I'll leave you to think about why that is so. Okay, ta-ta!